Following up on speeding issues on Bayshore Boulevard in Tampa, the scenic roadway turned into chaos last May when police say a deadly speed racing crash killed a mom and her toddler. News Channel East Ryan Hughes, he's live on Bayshore. Ryan, you took out the radar gun to that area. What did you find? Marco, good morning to you. We used this radar gun to check the speeds of drivers here along Bayshore. And even after everything that happened out here, we were surprised with what we found. Most people certainly abided by the new 35 mile an hour posted speed limit. Some drove a tad below 35, some just above it. But we found a few who had the pedal to the metal reaching speeds at least 10 miles an hour over the limit. Others hit nearly 50 miles an hour on the residential road where Jessica Robinalt and her daughter Lilia were hit by an alleged speed racer just three months ago. Neighbors like the efforts to slow speeders but want more done here. We're getting better. However, I, I think it's almost futile unless you do things like speed bumps, which really, it is not a good idea on a boulevard like this. I've noticed that there's a lot more of a police presence. Um, I still wouldn't cross the road on a bike. Um, I wouldn't cross the road walking. Andrew on your side asked twice for records from Tampa police about the number of citations and warnings given out on Bayshore since May. We also requested to do a police ride along to see exactly how officers are helping. We have yet to hear back from the agency's public information office when it comes to those requests. Back to you. I know a lot of people want to see safe driving out there. Ryan, thanks for that follow up.